history has consistently shown that an aircraft platform can achieve near immortality if its design allows for constant reinvention. A prime example is the F-15EX Eagle II, which Boeing proudly describes as a digital pathfinder for the next generation of combat aircraft. The innovations tested on this jet in software architecture, digital design, and system integration are laying the foundation for America's sixth-generation fighters. The key question is whether the Eagle II marks the culmination of the F-15's long and storied legacy, or if it signals the emergence of a new era where legacy aircraft can still rival even cutting-edge unmanned systems. In the early 1970s, the U.S. Air Force faced a sobering reality. Its air superiority was no longer assured, particularly after disappointing results in the skies over Vietnam. The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, though powerful, was too heavy, insufficiently agile, and overly reliant on missiles at a time when guns still often decided aerial duels. This created a troubling paradox. Despite technical advantages, American forces were losing aircraft and pilots. What was needed was not an adaptation, but a revolutionary new design. Thus, the FX program was born, with proposals from Fairchild Republic, McDonnell Douglas, and North American Rockwell, supported by NASA's aerodynamic expertise. In a bold move, the program bypassed the usual prototype phase and went straight into full-scale development, saving both precious time and the risk of cancellation. The result took flight in July 1972, and by the following year, the two-seat F-15B confirmed the aircraft's promise. Unlike the multi-purpose compromises of its predecessors, the F-15 was unapologetically focused on one mission, absolute air superiority. With a blistering top speed of Mach 2.5 and an advanced AN-APG-63 radar that could track low-flying aircraft from nearly 200 miles away, it set new benchmarks. Its radar was also the first to use a programmable processor, making upgrades possible. Without replacing hardware, an innovation later mirrored in platforms like the F-35 Lightning II. But the Eagle's brilliance extended beyond speed and sensors. With external fuel tanks, it boasted an astonishing 2,000-mile range while cruising efficiently at Mach 0.9 without afterburners. This allowed it to quickly reinforce distant theaters of war and dominate the skies before battles reached the ground. Over more than five decades of service, the F-15 has built a flawless combat record, downing 104 enemy aircraft by 2008 without suffering a single loss in air-to-air -air combat. By the 2010s, however, the Air Force found itself at a crossroads. Production of the stealthy F-22 Raptor had ended in 2011 after only 187 units, while the F-35 program, despite its massive potential, was proving expensive, complex, and not yet fully mature. Meanwhile, global threats were growing. China was Rapidly expanding its air fleet, Russia was exporting the formidable Su-35, and tensions in Europe were escalating. The Air Force urgently required a capable, versatile, and cost-effective fighter for missions where stealth was not essential. Boeing, at the same time, was developing the F-15QA, Qatari Advanced, an export model featuring state-of-the-art avionics, digital flight systems, and open mission architecture. This became the blueprint for the next major evolution of the Eagle, the F-15EX Eagle II. The Eagle II brought sweeping advancements. Though slightly heavier, its digital fly-by-wire controls and powerful F-110GE-129 engines, each producing 29th and 500 pounds of thrust, delivered far greater agility and handling than earlier models. Structural redesigns extended service life to... 20,000 flight hours and doubled payload capacity from 15,500 to 20,9500 £20, pounds. Hard points increased from 9 to an astonishing 23, and with the amber ejector rack, the jet could carry up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles. Depending on configuration, it could haul a mix of AIM-120 AMRAMs, AIM-9 Sidewinders, precision-guided bombs, and anti-radiation missiles.
Most notably, the Eagle II is capable of deploying massive hypersonic weapons such as the AGM-183 ARW and HACM cruise missile, munitions too large for stealth fighters like the F-35 to carry internally. Where the F-15EX lacks stealth, it compensates. With cutting-edge electronics and defensive systems, its APG-82 V.1 radar, paired with the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EPAWSS, combines radar functions with electronic warfare, detecting and adapting to enemy emissions in real time. The Legion pod adds the ability to passively e -E detect stealth aircraft, while the digital helmet-mounted queuing system enhances high-angle targeting. True to its open architecture, the jet remains compatible with legacy systems like Sniper XR and Lantern pods while ensuring easy integration of future upgrades. Procurement numbers have shifted over time, but as of the FY 2026 budget, 129 aircraft are expected to be delivered, including units earmarked to replace aging A-10 Warthogs in the Michigan Air National Guard. While some envision the F-15EX serving as a command node for drone swarms, its most immediate and practical role is as a missile truck. Because stealth fighters are constrained by internal weapons bays, they cannot carry the same volume or size of ordnance. The Eagle II fills this gap, acting as a heavily armed companion that can launch long-range strikes based on targeting data from stealth aircraft. Its unmatched ability to deploy large hypersonic weapons ensures that it remains indispensable on tomorrow's battlefield. Ultimately, the F-15EX represents a blend of heritage and innovation, proof that even a five-decade-old design can evolve into one of the most advanced fighters in the world. Whether the Air Force pursues a future Eagle III or transitions entirely to sixth-generation aircraft, the Eagle II guarantees that the legacy of the F-15 will continue shaping air combat well into the mid-21st century.